Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Hey, if you're new here, do me a favor and hit that red button, ring that bell, and always, please always hit the like button. That always helps out the channel. Always. Always. That helps out the channel because as you know, YouTube does not like the outdoor channels. Anyway, today we got a, I was going to say multifaceted, that's a little big word for me, but uh, we're going to do a few different things today. One, we're on our way to Detroit to my mailbox to pick up some parts for some calls that I'm making because you guys keep buying everything I got and I appreciate that a lot. The other mission we got today is water. Now, I'm recording this video on Thursday. I'm not sure when you're going to watch it. Two days prior to this, which was Tuesday morning, the county I live in issued a boil water alert, basically telling you do not drink the water. Now, I know some of my friends and some of my family think I'm kind of odd because I store stuff in my basement. I had lots of water. Keyword had. Uh, we've been going through it for the last two days. So, what we're going to do today is we're heading to Detroit, like I said, pick up some parts. We're going to stop in Windsor on the way back and pick up a ton of water. One, I got to replenish what I had. And two, we're still using it because who knows how long we're going to be without water. So, we'll be prepared. Detroit, we're here in Windsor. Just stopped at a uh, grocery store here to pick up some more water. I'll see you in a minute. Well, that was fast. I had everything I want. I got about uh, 70 gallons, 70 gallons, 70 liters of water all back there. We're not going to be without water. So I believe in being prepared. We were prepared for this. Other people didn't have water. The uh, grocery stores in town, no water. Uh, there was a posting up on Facebook last night that uh, the no frills in Tilbury got their emergency shipment of water in. I'm sure it was gone as fast as it got there. So obviously, if your town has no water, then your best bet is just to run out of town, grab water. I happen to be going to Detroit today, like I said. Stopped here in Windsor. Picked up, I think it's 20 gallons, 60 liters. We got water. So that's going to do it for here in Windsor. We're going to head back home. Uh, I'm going to show you what I got at the mailbox. I'm going to show you some calls. And I found, yesterday I was going through some of my old calls, and I found the very first uh, turkey pot call that I made. So I'm going to show you that as well. Ooh, we finally made it back home. I got six jugs of water. Whew, a lot of water. It's uh, right down there. I'm going to show you what I picked up over in Detroit. Now, I order my inserts, these little guys right here, I order them from a specific company and I order the same ones every time because I want the same sound every time. I also order the brass rings as well as some aluminum bands. And you can do whatever you want to these. You can uh, engrave a design on them or just leave them plain like I do most of the time. Can you believe I can't find a tripod? A tripod. I've got like four of them. I can't find one anyway. Anyway, here's what happens. I'm going to set this. I'm going to set you over here. Hope you don't mind. Hey, I got you bouncing everywhere, don't I? Here. There. No. Mm. 
who things not working. Joby, not impressed. Not impressed. Folks, I've had that Joby tripod for maybe two months. No. This is what I start with. I've got a piece of wood. This is a, just happens to be a two inch blank. I drill a five eighths hole into the end of it. And that takes the insert. I then shape the call into whatever shape I want to shape it. Now this particular one here, I've shown it before. It's a two piece call. So basically, in order to get this band in the middle, then this is considerably smaller, the band is. <clears throat> in order to get this band in the middle, I have to cut it. Then I glue it all back together. And again, it's got the 5 8 hole in the middle. The insert, obviously it's a 5 8 insert. This one here is a double reed open water insert. Goes in there. And there you have it. Now, I do make my own inserts. I haven't made any for a while. And the reason I don't, though, is consistency. I get consistent sound with this particular insert. This tool here, this is a tool for making my own inserts. Like I said, I've made them before. Your raw stock will go in the end here. And this here helps you cut your slope on the side. But for time's sake, um, as you know, I'm having trouble keeping the stock in. And I've always pretty much used these inserts. So it only makes sense to me to stick with what I know and what I know works. But these double reed inserts, the open water ones, you can really get up on them. Or you can go real low quack. <coughs> the raspiness in it is what I go for. All my calls are like that. And that's why I stick with this one. I already recorded the outro and then realized I forgot to show you guys my turkey call from years back. Um, also, yeah, took a break for lunch. You can kind of guess how that went. Anyway, here's my turkey pot call. I made this about six, seven years ago. It's got the slate plate, nice cherry wood on the back. This is my first attempt at it. The striker is nothing more than a 3 8 wooden dowel and a not very unique handle. Uh, it does have a uh, shotgun on the back. Here's how it sounds. That's not bad for my first call. Let's do a purr. Not bad. Again, this is my first attempt at making a turkey pot call and it turned out pretty good. Anyway, that is all I got for today's video. A little bit of traveling, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I hope you enjoyed that. And again, please, please hit that red button and ring the bell and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, share the video because every little bit helps. As you know, YouTube does not like outdoor channels. Having said that, time for me to go. I'm going to see you all in the next one. Later.